guys, let's do this quick example. Ideal gas, exercise number one. So they tell you 100 grams of nitrogen is stored in a container at this temperature and this pressure. This letter G means that you are using gauge or that you read it from a equipment. So you need to add one atmosphere, or in this case 14.7 PSI, in order to get the total value in absolutes. So they tell you assume ideal gas behavior, calculate the container volume in liters. Liters is a measurement of volume, so we're good for that. And well, yeah, essentially let's do it. PV equals NRT. We're looking for volume, so let me send the pressure dividing and I get this equation. Now I told you about the atmospheric pressure, you need to add it, so for the total absolute pressure you will have the atmospheric pressure plus the gauge pressure, which is here and here, equals this number here, 17.7 psi, and well, you want to have the absolute temperature, which is, if you have it in Celsius, you need to add 273 Celsius in order to convert that into Kelvin, almost 300. And last but not least, we want to have the amount of moles, but we have mass. So let's do a change. Let's change that into moles. You need to divide. You know that there are 28 grams for each gram moles of nitrogen. So dividing that, you will get the amount of gram moles in that quantity. Uh, if you choose the ideal gas, I think you <coughs> will like this one. Uh, at least is the one I know by heart, cubic meters, pascals, grammel, kelvin. These all are uh, standard units or SI system units. Which is cool because if you state the letter you're going to see that we are going to have a lot of variables. If you have all the variables in the standard international system, uh, you're going to have a very good time and you're going to have no uh, mistakes, no errors, no conversions, so I totally recommend you to use this. So we plug in all the values, so P and R T divided by P is my pressure, okay, pressure, perfect. Sorry, sorry. We are calculating the pressure in Pascals. So I have 17.7 PSI and I know from conversions that 14.7 psi is one atmosphere but at the same time I don't want to have atmospheres because I want to get p uh, pascals so I know one pascal is about 101,325 pascals so doing this operation I got this amount of pascals now I, I may actually just plug in the values uh, n is 3.57 grammoles of nitrogen which is here r as I told you before 8.31 cubic meter pascal divided by gram mole kelvin and the temperature which is here almost 300 kelvins and the pressure I just calculated in the previous slide I got this value here in cubic meters but they told me to calculate it in liters so I have it here 72 liters which if you use the 5 gram mole per liter criteria uh, we're set to go because actually we have 72 liters Per how many moles was that? I think 3. Point, where is it? 3.57 moles, almost 4 moles. So let's say 72 liters per 4 moles. Do that and you will get about 20 uh, liters per gram. So actually it's here. So we're done. We can actually say that the ideal gas do apply here. It does apply here guys. So we're happy for that. If not, if we have maybe we gotten, I don't know, two liters per gram, we will probably say that this value is false. What's up guys? It's me, chemical engineering guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, 
teachers, colleagues, or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher and the engineer get the best of each other. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.